Once hidden in the shadows of history, a stealth fighter thought long forgotten is now roaring back into the spotlight. As global superpowers race for aerial dominance, this revolutionary aircraft might just be the secret weapon that shifts the balance of power. Why did it disappear? And why, after all these years, is it back? Today, we're revealing the mysteries, the controversies, and the game-changing technology of the YF-23 Black Widow. If you think you've seen it all in military aviation, think again. This is the untold story of the jet that could redefine the skies. In the late 1980s, the geopolitical landscape was tense, and the US and Soviet Union were engaged in a fierce competition to establish dominance across every conceivable arena, including the skies. With an urgency to maintain technological superiority, the US Air Force launched the Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF program, seeking to develop a new class of fighter jets that would redefine aerial combat. This program aimed not only to outpace existing aircraft, but to anticipate and counter the Soviet Union's most advanced capabilities. The mandate for the ATF program was clear. Produce a fighter jet that would be stealthy, fast, highly maneuverable, and equipped with the latest avionics. Enter Northrop and McDonnell Douglas, two major players in the U.S. defense sector who joined forces to create an aircraft capable of exceeding the Air Force's stringent requirements. Together, they set out to build a fighter that could dominate in speed, stealth, agility, and technological sophistication. What they created was the YF-23, an aircraft that was bold in design and daring in its capabilities. As development proceeded, two distinct YF-23 prototypes emerged. Each one brought its own unique elements to the project, embodying the most advanced aeronautical engineering principles of its time. The YF-23A, nicknamed the Black Widow, uh, had a sleek black exterior designed to absorb and deflect radar waves, while the YF-23B, called the Grey Ghost, featured a unique gray color scheme intended to help the aircraft blend with the sky. Both prototypes boasted diamond-shaped wings, a radical departure from traditional fighter wing designs. These wings provided several advantages. They minimized drag, enhanced lift, and improved high-speed handling, allowing the YF-23 to achieve impressive speeds while maintaining agility. Stealth was the defining feature of the YF-23. Unlike conventional fighter jets, which were highly visible on radar, the YF-23 was designed to be virtually invisible, with a radar cross-section reduced to a fraction of what enemy forces could detect. This capability allowed the YF-23 to penetrate hostile airspace and remain undetected, a tactical advantage that gave it an edge in surprise attacks and evasive maneuvers. Every design decision, from the materials used to the structure of the fuselage, was carefully calculated to achieve stealth without compromising performance. For military strategists at the time, this level of radar invisibility was revolutionary, providing new tactical options in scenarios where surprise and discretion could determine victory. The YF-23's testing phase showcased not only its capabilities, but also its game-changing innovations. The aircraft underwent rigorous trials during which it revealed an ability that few fighters possessed at the time. Supercruise. This meant that the YF-23 could sustain supersonic speeds without needing afterburners, a feature that saved fuel and significantly extended its range. Most jets require afterburners to break the sound barrier, which consumes tremendous amounts of fuel. The YF-23's supercruise ability meant it could fly farther, faster, and with greater fuel efficiency than other aircraft of its time. This made it particularly valuable for long-range missions, allowing it to reach targets deep within enemy territory without needing frequent refueling. Inside the cockpit, test pilots praised the UIF-23 for its handling and maneuverability. Equipped with thrust vectoring nozzles, the UIF-23 could perform sharp directional changes, giving it a level of agility that few jets could match. Pilots described the aircraft as smooth and responsive, able to execute evasive maneuvers 
and sharp turns that would be crucial in dogfight scenarios. This agility, combined with its stealth and speed, made the YF-23 a formidable presence in the sky, capable of engaging or evading enemies as needed. The aircraft's handling gave it an edge, enabling it to navigate complex combat environments where quick reactions were essential. While the YF-23 excelled in performance, it faced a serious rival, the YF-22. Developed by Lockheed Martin and Boeing, the YF-22 brought its own unique strengths to the ATF competition. While the YF-23 prioritized stealth and speed, the YF-22 was optimized for maneuverability and close combat capabilities. Military officials were divided. Some argued that the YF-23 stealth and super crews would be invaluable for long-range, undetected strikes, while others favored the YF-22's agility in dogfighting scenarios. The debate highlighted a strategic question facing the Air Force. Should they prioritize a fighter optimized for stealth and speed, or one that excelled in close combat flexibility? Technologically, the YF-23 was ahead of its time. Capable of reaching speeds around Mach 2.0, it was built for speed and stealth, creating a nearly unstoppable force in the air. Its diamond-shaped wings were not only unique but also functional reducing drag and increasing lift to enhance both speed and maneuverability. These wings, along with its thrust vectoring capabilities, allowed the YF-23 to perform exceptionally well in various flight regimes, from high-speed pursuits to evasive maneuvers. Inside, it featured an advanced avionics suite that gave pilots real-time data on enemy positions, making it easier to make informed decisions in the heat of combat. The YF-23's internal weapons bay was a groundbreaking feature in its own right. Unlike conventional fighter jets that carry weapons on external pylons, the YF-23 kept its missiles and bombs within the fuselage. This not only preserved its stealth profile, but also allowed it to carry a significant payload without compromising its radar invisibility. The internal weapons bay could accommodate a variety of munitions, from air-to-air -air missiles to precision-guided bombs, giving the YF-23 versatility in combat. By concealing its armament, the YF-23 could approach targets without drawing attention, striking with surprise and accuracy. However, the YF-23's design wasn't without its critics. While it excelled in certain areas, some analysts argued that it might lack the adaptability required for multi-role missions. The YF-23 was optimized for speed, stealth, and long-range strikes, but there were concerns that it might not perform as well in the versatile combat roles that modern conflicts demanded. This debate, centered around the balance of specialization versus versatility, played a key role in the Air Force's final decision. The journey of the YF-23 was not only a technical feat, but also a political drama. As the Cold War wound down, the U.S. military faced increasing pressure to justify its defense expenditures. Lawmakers questioned the necessity of spending billions on advanced fighter jets, and the high costs associated with the YF-23 brought additional scrutiny. Meanwhile, the YF-22 gathered its own share of influential supporters within the military-industrial complex. The rivalry between the two aircraft became a focal point for debates about military priorities and spending, adding a layer of complexity to the selection process. In 1991, after a lengthy evaluation, the Air Force ultimately selected the YF-22, marking the end of the YF-23's journey toward production. However, the impact of the YF-23 would continue to ripple through the defense industry, inspiring future aircraft designs with its technological innovations. Its advancements in stealth, supercruise, and avionics would lay the groundwork for subsequent generations of fighter jets, influencing the design of military aircraft around the world. The YF-23's legacy wasn't confined to the U.S. Its advanced capabilities and unique design attracted global attention as militaries around the world sought to develop next-generation fighter jets. Countries like Japan and South Korea took inspiration from the YF-23, using its principles to guide their own fighter development programs. The YF-23's influence highlighted a new era in military aviation, 
where innovations in one country could shape the defense strategies of others. Today, as the aerospace industry moves toward sixth-generation fighters, the influence of the YF-23 is unmistakable. These next-gen aircraft will build on the YF-23's foundation, with enhanced stealth, AI integration, and the capability to coordinate with unmanned systems. The YF-23's design philosophy, emphasizing speed, stealth, and long-range capability, has set a standard for the future of air combat. Modern fighter jets are increasingly networked, with manned and unmanned systems working in tandem and AI aiding in decision-making, a testament to the YF-23's forward-thinking design principles. The resurgence of interest in the YF-23 serves as a reminder of the enduring impact of military innovation. Although it never entered active service, the YF-23's contributions to the field of military aviation continue to shape the development of advanced fighter jets. Its story is a testament to the vision, ambition, and expertise that drive progress in defense technology. If you enjoyed this journey through the history and legacy of the YF-23 Black Widow, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Stay tuned for more insights into groundbreaking technology, iconic aircraft, and the innovations shaping the future of military aviation. The YF-23 may have been passed over in its time, but its story proves that visionary design and technological excellence are always worth remembering.